Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explore 2022. And today we have the pleasure of having Jason Kotsafis, who is the Director of VMware Global Alliances at NetApp. How are you doing today? I'm doing, doing great. Thanks for having me today. Um, maybe you can start by telling us a little bit about NetApp and you know, kind of give us a company overview. Sure. Yeah, most people have heard of NetApp uh, at some point today in the VMware ecosystem. Um, we're a cloud-centric data management company. We've been partnering with VMware now for over 20 years, uh, ever since basically VMware became VMware. Uh, and we have over 20,000 customers today running uh, VMware software and workload management products on top of NetApp data management platforms. And Jason, can you talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the, the actual partnership with VMware? How do you partner with them? And uh, you know, how do you work with the, within its ecosystem? Sure, yeah. So it was interesting when, when VMware came out first as a company and people started um, deploying VMware on top of servers to get all of the benefits out of consolidation and more efficient use of CPU and all of those benefits, they started to run into a challenge where storage became a limiting factor, right? As more, work wo more workloads were condensed on top of virtual servers, the storage systems in the industry needed to catch up and be able to deliver the right performance and scalability for those virtual machines. And this is really where NetApp came forward as one of the key partners for VMware to make sure that we could have the storage infrastructure deliver the right levels of performance and scalability and also data protection and data movement at the storage layer. All of that's designed to make sure that the VMware virtual machines and VMware workloads keep running and performing at maximum for customers. And that's where, really where the whole partnership started. And it, it was a great, uh, very, very synergistic partnership way back then, and it, and it is today. And you know, over the last 20 years, what we've done since we enabled the core technology is constantly try to make it easier and simpler to manage the two things together by integrating the VMware software platform into the NetApp data management platform as one. So if you're managing VMware, you can actually monitor, provision, control, and manage the NetApp storage much, much more seamlessly. And you know, that was a great uh, kind of second act to the partnership constantly making the VMware admins and the storage admins and the database admins all be able to work together uh, in a more simplistic way. The current chapter that we're very excited about to talk about at this, year VM, this, this year's uh, VMware Explorer event is the move to hybrid and multi-cloud. So now we're seeing customers take those workloads that they've built on VMware and run on VMware for many, many years, now seek to move them into hybrid and multi-cloud environments. And NetApp, again, has been partnering with VMware to help make that transition. That's just a quick recap of you know, where we started, where we've gone, and kind of where we are today. Well, that's great. So for people who are already a VMware shop or have a VMware implementation, what kind of problems does uh, NetApp solve for them? Sure, yeah, I think we, we tend to look at that in three, in three categories today. Most VMware customers, have an existing investment on-premise with VMware software, people that manage it, infrastructure and processes around it. And they're constantly looking at, how do I get the most value out of that environment as I adopt the next versions of vSphere, for example? How do I optimize the use of that? So one of the things that we've done with VMware is help look at the new versions of vSphere and make sure that the functionality included in there can be optimized and taken advantage of very, very quickly and very efficiently. A great example is like NVMe technology. And everybody today pretty much uses flash storage in some way, shape or form for VMware. Uh, NVMe is a key technology to unlock more performance from the flash up to the VMware layer. And we've been a design partner with VMware to help unlock the benefits of, of that. So that's just one example where we wanna constantly help customers that have VMware in the data center get more and more value out of it as they move to the next versions of vSphere. The second category is accelerating new applications, new modern applications. VMware's got some great studies about this that you know, more applications are gonna be created in the next few years than all of the previous history combined. So there's this new wave of applications coming into the data center that will land on VMware. 
And so VMware has technologies now like VMware Cloud Foundation and Tanzu to help customers accelerate and simplify the deployment of those new applications, whether it be in a traditional VM or in containers with Kubernetes. And again, both of those things require performant, persistent and scalable storage and data management infrastructure, which we've worked on with VMware to integrate as well. And then the third category is, okay, if I wanna to start to move to the public cloud to get the benefits of that, it could be to move from CapEx to OpEx, it could be to shut down data centers, meet go green initiatives, whatever those things may be. The customers are looking at, well, how do I take my virtualized workloads on VMware on-premise and move them into the, pub, the leading public cloud providers of choice in a seamless way. When they do that, once they get their workload into the cloud, they're going to want the same level of enterprise class data management services that they have on-premise. And so this is where uh, actually NetApp and VMware have both been working uh, hand in hand with the leading public cloud providers to integrate the use of our respective public cloud services together, just like we did on-premise for many, many years. So this optimizing, accelerating, and transforming uh, the data center, those three themes, we've typically seen every customer doing one or two or three of those right now, or at least starting to plan on how they're gonna do that. And so we wanna be that universal data management platform for them uh, working hand in hand with VMware. Now, as, as we talk about your technology and learn more about it, uh, one of the things I'm curious about, you know, messaging, can get really difficult, right? Uh, there's a, it's a crowded market. Everybody's vying for, you know, uh, attention, especially at a trade show like this from, from attendees. So uh, as you're talking about your technology at your booth, how do you talk about, or, or how do you tell uh, an attendee uh, how you are unique or differentiated in the market as well? Yeah, great question. And it's a great, I love your point about the events because there is so much information packed into three days. So our number one theme at this show is very, very clear with VMware. It's hybrid and multi-cloud. So we're about to unveil uh, in, in some joint public announcements, the culmination of work that's been going on now for the last year uh, to year and a half of joint development to enable customers to move their workloads from on-premise on VMware into the public cloud of choice on VMware and connect NetApp public cloud data management services as a supplemental data store to the VMware cloud. This is the first time that this capability has been made available to any VMware customer. Uh, today, there's no option to connect a supplemental data store to the VMware public cloud service. And I can talk more about this, but one of the challenges that's happened is customers wanna be able to scale their cloud compute and their cloud storage separately, just like they do on premise. They can buy their servers, put VMware on it, and then choose the right level of storage they need. Well, the cloud is designed to be simple. So when you move VMware workloads to the cloud today, everything is bought and sold in a compute network and storage package. So one of the things that VMware was hearing from customers is they want the ability to segregate out and just connect storage and just scale storage independent of cloud compute. So they, they can right size the, the capacity and the performance and the cost of that environment. And we're coming out with this now for the first time. Um, VMware worked with NetApp as the only design partner to actually do this work um, and do it across all three major public cloud providers. So we're very excited about this and this is what we're gonna be announcing and talking about at the show. So most customers have a cloud strategy today around VMware. Um, and multi-cloud will be a big theme for VMware, of course, as well as we've heard. So um, that's gonna be the number one thing we really want customers to understand is we feel like we've um, broken down a barrier to moving some of these data intensive workloads into the public cloud by the ability to attach supplemental public cloud storage to VMware for the first time. And then uh, one other thing, Jason, not to put you on the spot, but you know, VMware is uh, is going to be talking about big picture stuff on the keynote stage at uh, here at VMware Explore. What big themes, trends uh, does NetApp see going into 2023? You know, what are the things that your company is interested in? Yeah, so everything we do at NetApp, we look at everything in terms of data management, right? We view that VMware is the 
the platform of choice and the control plane for the workloads, we want to be able to deliver the right data management services to meet the needs of those workloads. And that's whether or not they're staying on premise in traditional environments like your databases and Oracle and Microsoft and SAP, or if they're moving to containers and Kubernetes, or if they're moving into the public, public cloud arena. So this notion, um, from our perspective, we, we like to look at ourselves as the, the data management platform of choice across the board. Now, the, the number one theme, I think that, uh, or the headline, if you will, is we're gonna expect to hear VMware talking a lot about multi-cloud, of course, but also um, DevOps communities and accelerating new applications. And so another announcement that we're gonna be making at uh, ahead of VMware Explore is we're gonna be announcing um, in addition to the work in the multi-cloud, we're gonna be announcing the result of new in development for other areas such as Tanzu and VMware Cloud Foundation. And again, helping uh, DevOps teams accelerate their application development using containers, using it with VMware, using it alongside traditional virtual machine workloads, but having NetApp be able to be the data management platform they need to meet those performance and availability and protection demands for those workloads. So we expect a lot of multi-cloud for sure, but we also are hearing that there's gonna be a focus on DevOps and we're very excited to announce some new work that we've done with VMware there specifically around uh, the Tanzu platform and also VMware Cloud Foundation. And lastly, um... Would it be possible for us to get a quick demo of the product and kind of see it for ourselves? Yeah, so on the multi-cloud work in particular, we've been moving this through phases across all three public cloud providers from a private preview and then into a public initial access and then eventually to GA. And as we've done that, we've actually developed demos to show the customer how this would work, how you'd set it up, how you'd implement it, um, how you would, what would it look like in terms of your cost savings? So we can definitely show that. In fact, probably the best one to show is we'll show it in the context of um, VMware Cloud at AWS VMC, leveraging FSx for ONTAP, uh, otherwise known as FSxN, which is AWS's first party uh, public cloud service based upon the NetApp ONTAP technology. And we can show a demo of how to connect the supplemental data stores to VMware Cloud for the first time. Um, it's a great demo. We'll be happy to show it. Yep. Great, let's take a look at it. Hello everyone. In this demonstration, we will show you how easy it is to provision NFS data store to AWS VMware Cloud SDDC using FSx for ONTAP. This new integration is first of its kind and enables customers to adopt VMware Cloud and of course reduce the total cost of ownership for storage and performance intensive workloads. The steps are very easy. Create a FSx for ONTAP file system using AWS console and create a volume with appropriate size, IOPS and throughput capacity. Don't worry if you start with an assumption as FSx for ONTAP helps you to easily scale capacity, IOPS and throughput without any downtime. That too, with a single click of a button. Once the volume is created, head over to VMware Cloud Console and access the storage tab under SDDC and click on Attach Data Store. That is it. You have the NFS Data Store mounted. Great, thanks for that great demo. Uh, where can people go if they wanna find out more about NetApp and find out more information about it? Sure, so we're at VMware Explore this week, booth, booth number 802 right in the front of the exhibit hall. Um, we also, if you go to netapp.com, we have an entire VMware solutions landing page that has all of this information on it, all of our best practices and ways to get in touch with the VMware team at NetApp if there are more questions as well. Great, well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. Thank you for having me, I'm very excited. I appreciate it, thanks.